This is Dr. Prasenjit Das, your teacher for the MA English program. First of all, I welcome you all to eVidya, the learning management system of the university. In this session, I shall try to provide you with a very brief overview of the MA English program. As you know, advancing your knowledge education is one of the most important investments that you can make. Hence, it is crucial that you choose the right university to fulfill your educational needs. I thank you all for choosing KKHSU and we promise to extend all possible support during your course of study. We should note that this LMS will allow you to study when and where it suits you and will also enable you to continue learning anytime and from anywhere. The MA English program of this university has been designed in such a way that it meets the standard in other national and international universities. This program aims to generate an interest in literature, inculcate a spirit of critical inquiry, and develop analytical, interpretative, and creative faculties in our learners. The program begins with a very basic introduction to English literature, its various sources and forms. However, as the semesters progress, new areas of literary studies, including criticism and literary theory, are also introduced. The objectives of the program are to generate an interest on English language and literature, acquire the appropriate methods and approaches to study English literature, develop your analytical and creative faculties, inculcate in you a spirit of interpretative and critical inquiry, and finally, develop yourself as a human resource who might join the teaching fraternity in our society. Now, let me quickly mention the different courses that you, are, you will be required to study as part of the MA English program. The program is divided into four semesters, and each semesters we are going to have four courses. In semester one, we shall be studying four courses, namely English Social and Cultural History, English Poetry from Saucer to the Neoclassical, English Drama from Elizabethan to Restoration, and Non-Fictional Prose. In semester two, we shall be studying four other papers, and they are 18th and 19th century novels, language, linguistics and grammar, poetry from Romantic to the Victorian, and literary criticism. In semester three, we have, again, we have four uh, different papers, 20th century novels, modern drama, modern poetry, and Indian English literature. In semester four, which is also the last semester of the MA English program, we shall be studying with an optional paper in the fifth. The papers are Literary and Critical Theory 1, Literary and Critical Theory 2, American Literature, and the fourth one, I think, uh, as I have told you, there are two papers which are optional. The first one is Literature from Northeast India, and the second one is uh, Modern European Literature. So, after successful completion of the MA English program, you will be able to enter into positions as teachers in the educational institutions, enter the research field by applying for an MPhil or a PhD program in English in any university including KKHSOU, pursue a career in mass communication and journalism, find a job in the publishing industry and translation agency as a copywriter, editor and proofreader, find a job of, as a campaign manager and speechwriter in different government departments, and also find a job as a language interpreter, among others. However, studying in an online environment for an award of the certificate or a qualification demands great commitment on the part of the learners like you. Therefore, your successful completion of the MA English program will depend on your performance in both the continuous comprehensive assessments based on your participation in the discussion forums and quizzes, timely submission of the assignments as well as your performance in the final term and examination. The learning management system of the university will further enable you to directly get in touch with your university teachers by participating in the live sessions besides getting yourself involved in peer learning opportunities with your fellow learners through the discussion forums. 
Apart from the e-contents provided to the learners like you, you will also find a way to explore many open educational resources for which the links will be provided under its unit from which uh, you will be able to gain significantly. So, let's enjoy our learning through this LMS as you will get the opportunity to read, review, respond, explore and assess your own ways of learning that makes you a self-learner in the true sense where a teacher like me will always act as the facilitator of your learning. So please cooperate with us and enjoy your learning. Thank you.